Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of A Dark Room. Uh, so as I loaded it up, everything just kind of uh, continued. I didn't have to reload. I, I basically, when you save it, it gives you like a code, like a hash code. And uh, you can theoretically load that up, just put in that string and it'll load up all the right stuff. But it, it seems to be going. I can just stoke the fire. We have all the resources we had last time. We have all the things. And we're just gonna keep going. I have a little less time to play today uh, because I just don't have um, a lot of time this week to play. Um, in fact, th this is like the only time I have. Most of my videos this week have been a little uh, cut short. Uh, my wife should be home any moment also, so I might be interrupted, but uh, that's okay. That, that might happen. You might hear some background noise and that's gonna be okay. So um, yeah, firelit room. I did hear some things. Let's go to the modest village here. Check our traps, gather some wood. Uh, okay, good. I did, I was told by, in our Discord channel, or was it Civilian's Discord channel, uh, uh by Absimliard, I think is how you pronounce it, who recommended this game to me in the first place, that this game does change modes. Um, at some point, maybe another episode, uh, but like about an episode's worth. A stranger arrives in the night, great. So we now should have more gatherers. Um, the, the game apparently changes gears dramatically. Like, it basically becomes a whole other kind of game. There's, like, a phase two and maybe even, like, a phase three of the game. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't really want to know exactly what that means, but uh, that's what's going on. So, uh, we're going to just continue playing for now. Keep stoking that fire. What was... What, 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 what were our plans uh, that we were talking about last time? I don't remember much. I know I want a compass. So it means we're going to need a lot more furs. We almost have the scales. We have the teeth. Um, now, a tannery, I assume, gets us furs. So I think the thing to do is to actually build one of those. And we almost can. We just need a little bit more wood. And there we go. Now we can build a tannery. Very cool. At the edge of the village. And I assume... Yeah. Yeah, you get furs per 10 seconds. Um, so let's put in, oh no, it turns furs into leather. That's not what we want. Uh, well, what we want for furs is just a hunter. Um, also, how's our bait? Yeah, are these are all baited traps right now, and we have plenty of bait because the trapper is getting us bait. Right. Uh, how's our meat? It's fine because we have hunters. Right, right, right. It's all good. Is there a cap on this? Do we have a cap of 100 meat? Is that what's going on, or will it go above that? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh no, we're 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 creating and we're we're making and losing the same amount of meat per turn, so that's fine. A smokehouse, I assume, gets us. Well, we already have leather. Something that gets us leather. Maybe it just gets us smoked meat or something. Gather more wood. Keep stoking that fire. Um, do we want to make another hut? Or do we want to save up for something else? We need a lot of furs. I mean, we could just really ramp up the number of hunters we have. We have 20 out of 20 people right now. And of course, we could just keep getting more people. And maybe we do so that we can just keep getting more hunters. Oh, a ruined trap. All right, let's track the prints that disappear. All right, I, so we need another trap. Oh, all of the traps are gone? Is that what happened? That's not good. We had eight? Three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven back, but that's all of our wood. That's not good. Uh, I want one more, and I'll be happy enough. All right, that should do it. Good. Okay, so I was adding more hunters rather than the gatherers. Now it is good to ha keep getting all this wood, but we want, how many furs do we need for the compass? 400 furs. Two per 10 seconds. Four, so that's a as a thousand seconds uh how many yeah i'm gonna get my calculator out here One thousand. oh i have numlock off because i was playing dwarf fortress earlier One thousand 
Never played Dwarf Fortress with Numlock on. 1,000 divided by um, 60 seconds in a minute. That's 16 minutes? That's it? 16 minutes. We could do that. This episode. That would happen. But I think we're also going to make more huts. Gather wood. Yeah, in the meantime, while we're gathering this fur, we will continue to make huts with our wood, and that will give us more people, and we can make more hunters with that. And maybe get this done sooner. Try brushing dead branches, lay to the floor. I could build more traps, I don't think. So what are we getting from these baited traps? Um... Fur, me, I mean, we are getting fur from the traps. That's true. And maybe I should have looked at how much, exactly how much fur we got from it. Um, stoke the fire. We'll get another hut soon. How much wood are we getting when we gather wood? It's, is it a multiple of the number of gatherers we have? No, I don't think it is. Um, I can't remember how it figures that out. All right, hurry up. Um, we have 252. Okay, so we get 50 each time. I don't quite remember how it uh, figures that out, but uh, I like. I think there's something we did that increased that at some point. Uh, do we have enough for another hut? Not quite. Do we want to save up for a smokehouse? I mean, we have the meat. I just don't know what a smokehouse gives us. Question is, do we want a compass first? I mean, we could get a smokehouse pretty quickly. But I think I want another. The huts are going to be good. You want as many huts as possible. More people. And we can get tanners. We can get leather from that. Right now, leather doesn't actually do us anything. Do us anything? Do anything? Do anything for us? Do us any good. That's what I mean to say. All right. So right now, we have 140 fur. Check traps. We got nine fur from that. From eight traps. Okay. All right, let's make another hut. That's what I want to do. So now we have extra capacity. We should hopefully get more folks soon. Uh, I hope you all like the Dwarf Fortress theme underneath all this. I just overlay that after the fact. Um, so while we're playing this, we just have some time to kill. Uh, so this game was recommended to me by Absimliard and maybe someone else, I think, in in Discord. Um, and of course, you know, if you're not on, I have a Discord channel. Uh, although Civilian's Discord channel seems to be kind of the mecca for um, just fans of the Granite Accidents in general. Uh, so maybe we'll change some stuff there, but I don't know. I, I, I'm often in Civilian's channel and people talk to me there also. Um, Dave's channel is also way more active than mine is. Uh, even though I think I had the first one of the group, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I just never cared too much about it. Uh, but anyway, so Absimliard, and I hope I'm saying that right, recommended this game to me because we were talking about um, just kind of morality and uh, and I, I don't know how that's going to fit into this game. I'm At some point, I know it will, but just morality and ethics in video games. And, you know, ever since I posted my last update my in the Get to Know You Challenge. Oh, here we go. A mysterious wanderer. A wanderer arrives with an empty cart. Says if he leaves with wood, he'll be back with more. Okay. Builder's not sure he's to be trusted, but at this point, 100 wood isn't that bad. Uh, we don't have 500 to give him, but we'll give you 100. The wanderer leaves cart loaded with wood. This is the first time we've even been able to do that, so um, why not? We'll try it. What's the worst that can happen? A weathered family takes up in one of the huts. Great. Um, how, do we want more hunters? Let's do it. All right, our furs are up to 197. Very good. Check the traps. Excellent. Stoke that fire. So yeah, um, and I have, I like, in my Discord channel, I have, or Discord server, I have a lot of channels dedicated to just stuff I've talked about, like, um, like politics, like religion. Um, and I should also, I, I really have been wanting ever since I get to know you challenge to kind of like maybe do a video or a series of videos on um, ethics in video games. Or not really ethics in video games, but more or less like religion, like 
uh, even like the Bible, like believing in scripture and how that kind of relates to playing video games, especially the kinds of video games I like, which, you know, are like colony simulation games for the most part. Um, what are we doing here? Yeah, not a lot going on. Uh, do we want another hut before we get something else? Probably. I think that's fine. Fur is up to 234. So yeah, um, and this isn't that kind of... I don't really know. I had no idea what kind of game this was when I started playing it. But this seems like as good an opportunity as any to kind of start talking about that stuff. And I didn't really prepare to talk about anything. I don't have a script or anything. But um, I just kind of like the idea... So for me, like my faith, as I've mentioned before, is really important to me. I believe in scripture. I believe uh, in, and that's what, you know, you came to watch this video to watch someone talk about uh, religion, right? Um, I believe I believe scripture is true, just like in, in general, just like the canonized Bible, uh, both testaments, even though I am Jewish and identify as Jewish. A workshop, 800 wood. So that's what you need for a leather. Builder says she could make finer things if she had the tools. Um, and for me, uh, you know, I find I, 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 be, I came into belief from being a pretty hard-nosed atheist for, for most of my life until, I mean, I'm 36 now. Uh, this, so I became a believer like, uh, like 13 years ago, maybe, when I was 20. I was like 24, I think, around there. And I find myself um, pretty, you know, leaning. I'm a, I'm I'm a little bit of a contrarian. That's just my personality. But I also find myself just, um, just not in the same. I came to faith through a very like logical way. Like I I was challenged to read it, uh, to read scripture, determine if it was true. Um, I was challenged by. I had to be challenged by people I respected the intelligence of. Um, and yeah, when it comes down to it, like long story short, like I just believe it's true. Um, I believe that like there's enough evidence that showed me that it is um, an objectively true thing, that it is like the word of God, basically, um, the Ju Judeo-Christian scriptures. But uh, I don't think that that's mutually exclusive with, all, with well, for one thing, science. Um, I'm a big believer in science. Science is just the pursuit of truth, whatever is true. And if I believe God is true, that the existence of God is true, I shouldn't be afraid of science. I should embrace it. A beggar arrives, asks for any spare furs to keep him warm at night. We need our furs. <sighs> Let's give him 50. The beggar expresses his thanks, leaves a small pile of teeth, or a pile of small teeth. Okay. Because our furs are going up. And we're ready to make another hut. Let's do it. I'm going to wait on the workshop. We don't need it. Okay. Let's let's ramp up our hunters a bit. That's not a lot of wood we're getting right now, but I think that's okay for the time being. So, yeah. Um, so, that's kind of, in general, where I stand uh, religion-wise. Uh, I didn't mean to make another trap. But you know what? That gives us more furs. I'm gonna let's go and even 10 traps. More traps won't help you now. Oh, so we've maxed out on traps. Okay, I'm glad I made that many then. Uh, and we have the meat for it. We have a lot of meat. Because we're getting meat. Not only are we oh yeah, the hunters are giving us tons of meat. Cool. So we have plenty of bait, I think. Yeah. Um, as long as we have enough bait, as long as we're producing more bait than we're using in the traps. It's possible at some point we'll need to increase our trappers by one. Oh, good, another family. So we'll get a little more wood. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, you know, my interest is partially in just like, um, so, so this idea of like uh, appreciating science and just pursuing truth wherever truth may lead um, you know, to be honest, it makes me a little different than probably the majority of believers in scripture. A lot of believers in scripture, um, not everyone, of course not. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't be one, 
I would never have gotten to this place. But like, um, there are a lot of people out there that just believe what they believe because they grew up that way um, or because uh, someone told them something, some kind of vague thing. They might not have even have ever read uh, the like the core book of the religion that they believe in, um, but they believe what they're told about it. Um, up and yeah, my wife is coming home right now. So I think I think I might actually put a little cut in here and maybe we'll come back to this later. Uh, if not, this might be the end of the video. But um, in any case, if this is the end of the video, we'll get back to this again soon. And I really appreciate, well, we'll also continue this conversation. Hopefully I'll pick, be able to pick it back up where I started. And um, remember to leave comments uh, both in on the video. Please visit me on Discord um, and we can talk more about this kind of stuff. But um, but yeah, now that now that I'm not in the apartment by myself anymore, uh, I think we're gonna continue this game next time. This game is also the kind of thing where I I might actually end up like live streaming the rest of it, and maybe this like Wednesday slot I might pick for something else, and then we can just put the episodes up some other time. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I really enjoyed playing with you today, and uh, probably next episode we play, we'll, we will get to phase two. I'm thinking. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.